Hi everyone, it's Alan here once again and welcome to Alan Kane's Daily Vlog YouTube channel. We're going to have a walk, little walk around Bolton today and uh, yeah, just hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's having a good day, good uh, thing. I'd like to give a big massive shout out to my friend Jennifer Turner, uh, which hopefully tomorrow Tomorrow she'll be up, she'll be uh, she'll be uh, appearing in a blog for a while. Yeah, so yeah, pretty good. We're going, now going to go. We're going to go to a place called Manchester Road. Now, the thing is about Manchester Road is that it is now been re it has now been earmarked for development this this uh, building at the side of me here is the man management uh well center for management and uh yeah it's quite a it's quite a big uh Quite a big uh, place, really. Um, this is a part. This 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 is part of the University of Bolton. Um, that has uh, decided to. Start. Tax and business clinic. Yeah. They've done that. Accountancy, accountancy, financial management. It's for people who CMI, retail logistics, supply clinic, and management, and management. So I'd just like to say a big massive shout out to everybody at Bolton University. I'm just having, as I said, I'm just having a walk, I'm going to have a walk down Manchester Road. There's quite a lot of shops down here that are, shall we say, empty. And that's the... Look at that box. All the boxes stuck stuck upstairs with people's stuff in them. All people's paperwork. Don't need it really. Stick it all on a optical drive. Walking down here now towards the end to the uh, Balmoral, I think it's called. And a bit of rubbish being left around, you know. There's something going on, but I don't, but I don't know what. But uh, we'll uh, give it a go. I'd like to give, as I said, I'd like to give a big massive shout out to everybody. It's a really nice sunny day in Bolton at, the, at this moment in time. Made them, and I'm making the most of it. And uh, yeah. I hope everybody's okay. And uh, yeah, that's a bus going to Chorley. Or is it Preston? Yeah, Preston via Chorley. Yeah, that's a church because they've got a, a church service on. And I'm just walking down towards uh, Manchester Road. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. And welcome to the Alan Cates Daily Blog YouTube channel. Quite a bit of construction is going on in Bolton at this moment in time. Um, we're just going to go up to what they call the Trinity Quarter on Manchester Road and to see to find out if any progress has been made. And we're going to go into, and we're going to visit a few places today. And then once we've done these places, maybe 
maybe on Tuesday we're going to go to Salford. And I said, as I said in earlier on in the blog, that uh, Jennifer's going to be uh, making an appearance. She doesn't know it yet. <coughs> These are students' accommodation, students' flats. So there's ones across the road. They haven't been finished yet. Um, because the company that did them went bust and uh, yeah it's a failed failed uh, thing it's been sat there for two for the past two to three years um, because to be truthful the, univer the University of Bolt Bolton Yes, it's a good university and everything like that. It, it uh, does everything that ev any, every other university does. But that's the problem. That is the problem. They do the same stuff as everybody else. And... To be truthful... To be truthful... Here we go, we're going on to Manchester Road now. Manchester Road is quite a long road. It uh, goes along all the way up. And it goes... Yeah. Goes in, into Salford and places like that, Manchester Road. We're just going to go up here now and have a look what's going on. Because this block here, this block here, is therefore is therefore marked for demolition. Is this building? So once to take once once to get the com company to come and do get do this, this is going to be taken down. And so there's quite a lot of the quite a lot of the street up here actually. They've uh, you know. They haven't got the uh, investment that that Manchester got because, like, they turn round, they turned around and say, "Well, who's Bolton? What is what? You know, they wonder what." Uh, significance Bolton is yes it's a cotton town yeah but uh, they've had quite a few investments in like a new few car dealerships and everything I'm coming down to the end now and the garage is still here the BMW garage has gone. Let's have a look. We'll have a look, see how that we might even we might even we might even have a look at Crompton Place afterwards and uh, have a look. Yeah. It's a uh, office building. It's it's pretty well shuttered at the moment, but really, a lot of this area you could do with, well, bulldozing, really, you know. Um, it's right on the edge of the town centre. There we go. A crane has been erected. And, uh, yeah. Matter of fact, there's... Matter of fact, that's uh, quite a big crane, actually, of what they're going to be doing. The mill is being converted. They're putting a, they're putting a, yeah, they're putting a stem in the middle. They put a stem in the middle so that they can build fl build floors onto it. The BMW dealership has now gone. 
but there's still no activity on this side and uh, yeah what they're, what they're planning to do there is a tower block and there's still no real progress on the Trinity Quarter none at all there are talks of this pub coming down there are talks of this pub coming down but uh, it hasn't been finalised because you know it's just one of those things so that's one of the new built that's one of the it's still going up but uh, how long that's going to take I don't know because I've been hearing rumours that the um, that the that the building work has actually stopped but we'll just have to wait and see so yeah we'll just have to wait and see Bolton is full of promises but I tend to find that Bolton's full of promises but they don't really do do anything and they don't really follow it through unlike Manchester uh, Rankin have been, have been a really good company to deal with and they started putting putting uh, buildings up what the major problem is what the major problem is Manchester has been given uh, given the top end of redevelopment because they've got a lot of space to develop Bolton's got a lot of space to develop like this is meant to be um, meant to be for flats and flats and shops but it has but for the past four or five years now it's been it's been sat there empty because Wayne Walker Foods used to have the building here and there was a there was a sports 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 outlet uh, here it's just right at the, but the major problem is with this it is it is adjacent to the railway line that this is the reason I think this 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 the Trinity Quarter here on this side on the, on on uh, Manchester Road isn't getting the finance because across the road because it's too near to the railway station. That's the reason why I think this development hasn't been done. Uh, if anyone from Bolton Council is uh, watching, please. Please, I'd like to know what's going on with this land here. Um, also, I understand that the Crown, the Magistrates Court is now gone. They're going to have a new Magistrates building. But it needed, it needed replacing anyway. Um, it needs replacing. But quite a lot of the town quarter on Manchester Road, really, from... The t from the from here, where I'm pointing the camera at now, down to the Balmoral, really needs demolition. A demolition crew is to come in and does, and basically flatten it. There's a building on the back. Well, I'm not too sure what it is. I really do reckon that should go. And you know, if Bolton is really serious, <laughs> I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. And the company does have, the company does have a good track record for building building buildings tall ones why not get why not get Rankiner to do it 
I know it's going to be a stretch because Rankin are very busy at the moment uh, because they've got the they've got the uh, Manchester Ship Canal project of which of which they're basically uh, doing. But who wants an area like this? You don't really want it, do you? Because you know you got people coming into your city via the railway station via the railway station and this is what they come to I'm sorry Bolton Council but you know it's wakey wakey time rise and shine sort of thing it's time that a lot of this a lot of this area was ripped down we're coming up to yeah it could do with ripping down totally ripping down and coming along bottom but well coming up to the Balmoral public house and something should be done about these apartments about the apartments uh, at the bottom here they're not being used they were for students but get a company to step in and uh, finish them off and get them done or maybe knock them down or start afresh and put a tower block there and I mean a big tower block and we're walking down here now towards the town centre Palladium really I tell ya needs ripping down quite a lot of this area needs ripping down Yeah? Needs ripping down. Really does. It really does need ripping down. I'm just walking along now and uh, I will fill the phone up quite a fair with quite a fair bit and uh, along Manchester Road. Um yeah. What can I say? Manchester Road needs a lot of it needs ripping down it really does but the major problem is all the investment is being sucked up into Manchester at the moment that is one of the main problems like Bolton Bolton yes it is a metropolitan it is a part of the um, the Greater Manchester uh, area but I really do think it's time th this, uh, this, especially this part here and basically that building there could do with well it could do with redoing really I'll be truthful that building there could do with redoing because it looks an absolute mess there's, bu there's windows boarded up and everything because it's put right next to a pub right next to a pub that's the reason why it's not doing so well yeah not doing so well not doing so well at all so we're going to go a bit further down Manchester Road now and uh yeah, I'm glad that, the, that there is one project, one project being done. Now, we're coming up to Aurora Shops now. I really do feel it should come down. You've got Alan's Fried Chicken. Yeah, which is closed at the moment. 
Feed me online. Uber Eats. And look at the state of it. Milkshake. Alan's chicken. Huh? Not very good. We're looking, walking down Manchester Road now. And we're just... Uh, drive spot. So a lot. Red macro rings and big rat twist. <laughs> it's Sunday, a lot of these are not open, but you know, we're just having a walk down, seeing what the state of play is. These quite a lot of these shots have been bit have been shot for quite some time, especially this one. I remember this one. But it's like it's like what I said. A lot of this needs to a lot of this uh, a lot of this needs taking down. This one's okay. Because it's fairly new. And it's an estate agents. And uh Basically, that one's all right. But uh, I'm having a walk down. It's a Sunday and it's fairly quiet. It should be, it should be jumping. What's this? An electronic sign. Electronic sign. Telling people to play their part. Yep, we're having a walk down Manchester Road. I don't know. Shall we have a look at Crompton Place? We're coming up to... Primark. It's quite quiet. It's quiet. Very quiet. Hardly anybody hardly anybody about. Hardly anybody. Bit ghost town, ain't it? We're going into now, this is a place called Working Wardrobe. Right, what the, welcome to Working Wardrobe. Get the look to get the job. Working Wardrobe will help you help and take the best first impression so they are successful in getting that job at Bolton at home we're committed to helping our customers find employment this service will be available to anyone of working age who has has secured an interview. We will make sure all our customers have everything needed to look good and feel great at the interview. There you go, that's what they do. And it's uh, owned by Bolton at home. So if you so if you need if you're if you're a Bolton at home customer, uh, yeah, go there. Because uh, you know, it's just one of those things, isn't it? So I'm giving the yacht thing a bit 
bit of a sl sl uh, sweet. Just having a walk down towards town now. We're at uh, Prime Mark, which is in in Crom Crompton Place. So we're just going to have a walk down. It's pretty quiet down here at the moment. There's only a very few, very few people. Um, you know, very childish. Very childish. So we'll just have a walk down and uh, find out what's happening. So they were talking about getting rid of this from some place. There you go, there's people sleeping on the rough on the streets here. And that, so yeah. They should pour petrol on it and burn it, really. Make them, uh, you know. Let's have a look, walk down, rooftop terrace, don't blame them, yeah it says. This is, uh, we're still on Manchester Road at the moment and uh, we're having a, walk, having a walk down. We'll go and have a look at Crompton Place, see, see how bad it's getting and when they're going to because what I think should happen is they should have a talk to shall I say that's a hairdresser get you get her and everything removed this used to be the flying haggis what they're going to do with it I don't know but it's under redevelopment which uh, should be good when it's finished. Uh, people are walking around with masks on. Because Bolton, Bolton is a high risk area. Sizzling place. Is a, is a eatery. And just having a walk around. Turn, one, two, four cocktails. So, double on spirits for a pound. Well, nah, I don't drink spirits. So, we're just having a walk down now. Want to hire this venue for free? There we go. There you go. We we'll just have a walk down. It's quite. I don't know. It's pretty quiet, is Bolton, at this moment in time. Uh, going past the estate agents. And we have an ambulance. We'll just have a walk round and uh, yeah, pretty quiet, pretty quiet, very few, well there's quite a few people about, it's quiet, uh, people are just sitting around having, having drinks and stuff, I don't blame them really, going past the town, going past the town cafe and uh, which is everybody's uh, sit, sat there having a having a brew and that lot. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. Uh, we're just walk, walking around, having a having a walk about. We'll have a most probably have a look at have a 
Is well, not anywhere on the way home. Have a bit of a nausea in further down here. Went past the Skipton Building Society. Another empty property. Beauty parlour. There's no money in beauty parlours anymore. Plus, uh, there's too many of them. It's same with same with hairdressers. There's no there's no real money in it. No real money in it, unless you're really good. Unless you're really good. Now we're going to go past, well we're going to go up the side of Marks and Spencer's and we're going to see what it's like in here. And uh, you know, I've had this, I've had this running for quite some time now because I think what it is, the other phone, the other phone basically turned around and uh, well, done one, didn't it? Because it was getting too hot. Bet Fred. Brow Lash Bar. Yeah. Too, too many. Too many. Too many of those types of places here. And. Food outlets. This guy's. His stuff's good. The stuff is good, so Tika. Sell hot dogs as well, so pork beef hot dogs. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go into here and see what happens if I get kicked out. Right, here we go, Crompton Place. Let's, let's have a look. You know. So, yeah. No, I'm at Crompton Place. I mean, going into Crompton Place now, we'll go and have a look how bad it is. <laughs> I must admit. Oh, right, no, no worries. It's Sunday. There, there it goes. Setting the alarm off once again. So we'll just have a walk around. No, it's. Uh, you still there, Daryl? Yeah. I'm in Crompton Place. Yeah. Just having a look round. What? Yeah. Just having a look. Boots is closed. The back gate of Boots is closed. Uh, sportswear shop. Dr. Herbs is closed. But Dr. Herbs is open. So, yeah, it's quite, it's quite empty. Dr. Herbs is basically on, end, on its end of its lease. The pound shop has gone. This section of the, this section of the mall is to be to torn down. And, uh, yeah. See how it goes. It's pretty dead. We'll have a walk up and see what uh, what the state of play is. Primark is still here. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, card factory still here. Yeah. I think from. Primark upwards uh, boots. Yeah, I'm having a look round now. Blue ink. The works. Scoops ice cream parlour. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. No. Have a look. What they got? No, I won't bother. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll leave it. I'll come back in a minute. Yeah. Uh, sale, sale, selected. Massive clearance. Yeah. A lot of the area is pretty empty. Pretty empty. Um, I'm just having a walk round. I was having a walk round. The yeah, Halifax gone. The Halifax. It used to be. Yeah, used to be. And just having a walk round now. And uh, see what's going on. My God. Oh my God. Beaver Brooks has gone. Perfume shop, fragrance shop, is it empty? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn right now and have a look, see what sort of plate thing it is. Fragrance shop. Green Heights has gone. Yeah, Green Heights has gone. Coming up to the other end of Crompton Place now. God, Bennett, I think this place is on its death now, mate. I really do. Warren James. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Time pieces. You have one at Blackburn. Yeah. We're just having a look, look round, see what's uh, what. Yeah. Yeah, this, yeah, Crompton Place looks like it's on its last legs. Yeah. Really does. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if the marketplace is as bad. Yeah. Yeah. It looks a mess. It really does. It's like as bad as um, Walkden Town Centre. Yeah. It looks like Walkden Town Centre a little bit. Yeah, it's completely totally... It's completely totally on its way. Yeah. I don't know. It's, yeah, to be truthful, I really do feel that it's on its way out. Yeah, really do, really do that it's on its way out. And that, uh, yeah, there's no, there's quite a lot of empty stores in that lot, in it, because for what I've been hearing, the place is to be torn down. That's what I've been hearing anyway. I'm in, but as I said, I'm in Bolton Town Centre. I just did a quick. There's a lot of to let signs, a lot of to let signs about uh, about the place, and uh, we're just going to go and have a. I'm just going to go and have a look, see how bad, how bad the. Uh, how can I put it? The. Um, 
Yeah, see how the see how that place is. The marketplace. Yeah. Because to be truthful, I really do feel that uh, that place is basically on its last legs. Yeah. There's only a few there's only a few stores in it. Yeah. Yeah, because it's tied, it's tied to the to the old BHS building. That's the reason why. And what they could do is really is rip it down, really, and and ask them and ask the tenants to move to Marketplace. And that should basically, you know, because the mouths are too close together. The miles are too close together, and that, um, and it's sort of, I don't know, I don't know. It's sort of, it's sort of bad news, really, for the town, you know. No, I know. It's really bad, really bad. I thought I thought US retail was bad. Yeah. It's like a lot of places are just landlords are just uh, turning around and asking too too much rent. And it's like it's like too much rent. Now I'm going to go and have a look at the marketplace. See what the see what sort of see what sort of state that's in. And uh, yeah, going past going past the estate agents and Twistle Green. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. This this video will be up later on today. Uh, I'm just waiting for my two other videos to go up. And we're just walking around Bolton for a short while. The place is at... The, the town is nice. But there's so many dead businesses here. Yeah. So many. So many. And... Uh, yeah. Yeah, quite a fair, quite a fair bit. So we're just gonna have a look at uh, the marketplace because it was once it was once uh, Bolton's market at one time. Yeah, we're gonna go and have a look, have a nosy nosy, see what see what sort of state it's in since it did it's since it's done it's uh you know mm, yeah i could do yeah we'll have a look round yeah but i can't use the other i can't use the other other phone because it'd be too obvious what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. And it's like one or two cafe. There's one. Of, there's quite a few cafes outside. Outside now, you know, in this area, which basically has killed quite a lot of, quite killed quite a lot of places here. Yeah, yeah, the town centre here is pretty dead. Com well, compared to what, compared to uh, other places. Yeah, that's next. We'll just have a look in. I'll just have a look in. See what sort of shop, dine and enjoy. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see when I go in. 
I'm going in now. We'll see how long I last in here. Oh yeah. And then I'm most probably go to I'll go and have a look at pound stretch and see how see how they're doing. Yeah. Did you hear about uh did you hear about them? Pound stretcher? Yeah, a lot of them have been told to uh vacate. Yeah. I'm just having a look, see see how the marketplace is. Uh Zara's gone. Yeah, Zara's gone. And I'm just having a walk round. That was quite that was quite a shock for when I came in. We'll just have a walk round, see what uh, see what the state of play is here. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Just having a Oh, chill out. Yeah, chill out. It's a sort of uh, ice. Yeah, like a sort of ice cream shop sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, never heard of them. Yeah, yeah, never heard of them. Yeah, yeah. They've managed to, uh, Ernest Jones and yeah, I'm just having a look around, see what they've got in. Clark's shoes. Vision Express. They're, they're closed today on a Sunday for some apparent reason. They should be open. Blackburn's is open. H Samuel's open. And Greg's is out. Greg's is out. So we're going to see if Greg's is out. Oops, sorry. <laughs> we're going to see if Greg's is out. Oasis. Nineteen ninety-six. Is it open? One moment. I'm going to go and get some dinner. One moment. See if I've got any chance. I think I have. Did I just stop it? Yeah. No, I did it go? No. No. I'll just pick this. No. Pick the money off, I think. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> I think. I think. All right, we're going here. Get some lunch, get some dinner. Let's have to see what they've got. Oh yeah. Uh, can I have uh, two sausage rolls, please, in the same bag, please? Same bag.
Uh, thank you very much. Right, let's go. Right, that's that. Got it. Now we'll just have a walk around and see what uh, see what's happening. I don't know. This had this had a lot more. By the sound of it, by the sound of it, uh, the marketplace is basically more jumping than Compton. Really, I really do feel that that the marketplace new lock, the body shop. Let's have a look. Boots. Costa. Hello, what have we got? What have we got here? And our boots. And our next is pretty good. Let's have a look. Go down, let's have a look. So Escalators, body care, let's have a look, escalators to car park, so that's what they've done. Up a lot downstairs. Should, should we go downstairs? We'll go downstairs. See if we can find the downstairs. So a lot. So a lot. The downstairs one they blocked off. Yeah, they took this out, they blocked that one off so that people can't go downstairs because it's empty. Because it's empty. Yeah. What could happen here? What could happen here? What should happen here is that um, I really do think that 